The connection between Ritchie flow and biomedical data might not be immediately obvious, but there are several ways that the concepts underlying Perelman's work and related mathematical tools can be applied to biomedical sciences, particularly in areas involving complex data structures and geometric analysis. One, shape analysis in medical imaging. The idea of Ritchie flow can be linked to how biological shapes, like organs or brain structures, evolve or deform over time. This can be used in areas like brain morphometry, where the shape of the brain is studied for signs of neurological disorders, e.g. Alzheimer's disease. By analyzing how the geometry of brain structures deforms, you can assess abnormal changes. Techniques derived from Ritchie flow can smooth and analyze these complex shapes, making it easier to identify abnormalities. MRI or CT scan shape analysis, where the 3D geometry of structures like tumors or organs can be tracked over time. Geometric flows can help quantify changes in these structures over time, which can assist in diagnosing growth or shrinkage patterns relevant to cancer. Two, manifold learning in biomedical data. Biomedical data often involves high dimensional data, e.g. in genomics, EEG, or fMRI and analyzing it can be done by mapping it to a lower dimensional manifold. This allows researchers to detect patterns more efficiently. EEG GECG data can be treated as signals on a manifold, where techniques like Ritchie flow smooth out irregularities, helping detect features such as seizures or arrhythmias more accurately. The smoothening aspect of Ritchie flow can help refine these signals by removing noise or highlighting important patterns. Functional connectivity in fMRI data can be analyzed geometrically as regions of the brain activate in relation to others. Mathematical tools like those used in Ritchie flow provide a framework for understanding the deformation of brain connectivity maps during tasks or in response to pathology. 3. Geometric models in biomedical engineering. In bioengineering, structures like prosthetics or surgical models are designed based on the shape of natural human tissues. Using mathematical models that derive from topology and differential geometry, engineers can ensure that the shapes of these devices fit smoothly with the body. Concepts from Ritchie flow could assist in optimizing designs to match the natural curvature of tissues. 4. Network analysis in biology. Many biological systems, such as gene regulation networks or neural networks in the brain, can be modeled as complex geometric objects. By applying Ritchie flow, you could smooth or simplify these networks to understand underlying structures and relationships more clearly. For example, brain connectivity networks studied using graph theory could benefit from similar ideas of smoothing and reducing complex shapes. Interactive connection. By creating interactive tools to visualize geometric flows, you can give medical professionals and researchers the ability to dynamically interact with medical imaging data or physiological signals. This would allow users to explore how patient-specific data evolves over time or in response to treatments. For instance, an EEG visualization tool based on Ritchie flow could help map and smooth brain activity, making seizure detection more accurate. Similarly, an interactive model of tumor growth using geometric flow could assist oncologists in predicting and visualizing changes in tumor shapes between scans. Conclusion while Ritchie Flow and Perelman's mathematical work originated in pure geometry, the underlying principles of shape deformation, smoothing, and manifold analysis have deep applications in the study and analysis of biomedical data. These tools allow for more precise modeling of the complex shapes and high-dimensional data found in medical research.